In this video, we are going to look at line height. In CSS, the line height property defines the minimum distance between the baselines of adjacent lines of text. A baseline is an imaginary line upon which the bottoms of characters sit. Line height is similar to letting or interlinear space, the amount of space between lines, in traditional typesetting. Here is an image that demonstrates a line height. Line height is calculated by multiplying the font size times the line height. For example, the font size is 12 pix and the line height is 2.0. That calculates as 12 times 2 equals 24. Once we have the total line height, we need to look at how the browser distributes it. From the last slide, we had a line height of 24 pixels. So the browser takes that number and subtracts the font size. 24 minus 12 equals 12. It then takes that number and divides it by 2. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 6 pixels will be placed above and below the font. Here is an image showing the line height distribution. The font size will be 12 pixels with 6 pixels on the top and bottom. Line height can be changed based upon whether or not you are using a unit or not using a unit. In this example, we have three paragraph elements. Two of the paragraph elements contain inline elements that have a different font size. All of the elements line height are inheriting the line height of two from the containing div. You can see that they all have different line heights because they have different font sizes and the line height has no unit. Now, if I add a unit to the line height, that will cause all the line heights to be the same because they are inheriting the calculated line height from the div which is 2 times 16, the line height of 2 and the font size of 16 pixels. If you want to override the inherited line height, you can by just adding a line height to each element. So you do not have to use the inherited line height, but in most cases, that is what you will be doing. To recap, if the inherited line height does not have a unit, then the inherited line height will be multiplied against each element's font size. If the inherited line height does have a unit, then it will be multiplied against the inherited or written font size of the parent element. That concludes this lesson on line height.